How you doing? Can incursion save MCOC? So um, I don't know if you guys know this, but Karate Mike or Kabam Mike, I should say, not Karate Mike. There are two different people. Keep that in mind. I know a lot of people have them mixed up, but Kabam Mike is the community manager of MCOC. And he left MCOC just recently. I don't know if he left already, but all I know is he's about to leave or is leaving uh, already left MCOC. So there's rumors that's been going on why Kabam Mike is leaving MCOC because the game is dying. They expect the game to, you know, go out of business pretty soon. So that's why there's people are saying that's why Kabam Mike left. And I don't really think that for sure. I know the game will end eventually. The question is just a year, two years from now. Probably not likely. But, you know, I think I have other thing, uh, theories, you could say, why Kabam Mike left. I think he, because Kabam, I don't know if you know this, uh, when it comes to Kabam Mike, he plays for the other team. And, you know, in Kabam, when it comes to the game, he probably wanted more to do with the LGBT ABC and Kabam realized it's just not good marketing for them uh, because as you can see what happened with Target and Bud Light, they were losing money because they were forcing LGBT ABC in a kid's game, especially in a kid's game and they realized it's just not good for business. So, I don't know, maybe that's the reason why Kabam Mike left. I'm not 100% sure on that. But in the end of the day, Kabam doesn't care about your feelings. What they care about is how to make the most money from MCOC. So, keep that in mind. So, really, what I want to talk about is when it comes to MCOC, how can they save MCOC from, you know, going out of business? And I'm thinking, can the incursion save MCOC? From going out of business right now I think uh, Inc Battlegrounds is more popular than Incursion I could be wrong but I think Battlegrounds is more popular than Incursion but I never liked playing Battlegrounds and I think a lot of people are already tired of playing Battlegrounds so they want to come up with something better you know something more fun to do well, what's more fun than doing incursion? I have no idea. So if you know what's more fun than doing incursion, let me know. So how can they save MCOC through incursions? You know, I really like this saga sector they came up with. And having that extra rare hack is so important in the game. You know, I really wish they could keep that, you know, in the future, having an extra rare hack and as well as having two extra common hacks. I personally wish that, you know, like this would be the first one instead. You get to choose all the rare, any of the rare hacks you can in the game. I think that would be better if you can do that. You know, being having five rare hacks is going to be such a game changer for a lot of champions in the game. You know, it's going to open up a lot of champions to be able to use. You're not going to be using the same champions over and over again. And you're probably making an argument that having four rare hacks in the game is already broken for some champions, right? And I would agree with, with that, you know. You have obviously Angela, and then you have Hela, and you have Aegon 999. But the thing is, with those champions being broken, they're only broken when you pass zone 25, you know. And there's no rewards past zone 25 so it's not going to really matter unless kabam changed the rewards to like at least zone 50 if not zone 100 and most people don't realize how broken angela is and hella as well because they only get a fraction of their power i've taken hella to like zone 167 and angela past zone 100 so you're just taking a small fraction of their power that's why people don't realize how broken Hella and Angela is. And then when it comes to Aegon 999, he's also broken in Incursion. But then if you have a 6 star rank 5 Ascended Aegon with damage mastery, you're you're never gonna you're, you're not gonna get to 
999 by stone 25 in incursion. So, so the, in real, in realistically, if you're just talking about rewards, there's no broken champion with four rare hacks. Yes, with five rare hacks, there's gonna be broken champions for sure, like Hercules. Obviously, the three champions I mentioned, Angela, Hela, and Aegon, 999. But in the main thing about having five rare hacks instead of four is just be able to use other champions in the game. And like with Hercules to be broken, you would have to use like exactly five rare hacks for Hercules to be broken. What if you want to use other champions that can be better counter like Bullseye, you know? Like let's say you want to use like uh, Hemostatic Charge, Tidal Combat, Special Counter, um, keep it going, strategic movement. Those are like the five best hacks for both sides, right? But only two of those hacks really well works for Hercules, which is strategic movement and keep it going. So when you run into like safeguard or or like armor break immune champion or nodes, that's gonna be a problem for Hercules where you wanna use both sides for sure. Then again, you know, both sides, he doesn't have any immunities, doesn't have any regen, so you know, you run into cow drops, biohazard, you would want to use Hercules or against Morningstar. So I really think having just really the most important thing is having that extra rare hack is going to be able to use so many more other champions instead of just using Angela, Hela, Aegon, you know, or Hercules all the time. It's going to make the game so much better. And I think if they design champions in the future that, that are good for incursion, it's going to be great. Uh, I might even buy them. I don't know. I'm not going to say for sure, but I might even buy those champions in the future if they come up with champions designed for incursion. And I think what they can do is obviously for to attract more people to do incursion is like increase the reward to zone 50 at least, maybe even zone 100. And I get that for people wanting to go to zone 100, that's a lot, you know, that's going to be a lot of time. And so even just zone 50 would be reasonable, you know, because they started what, at zone 20 when, when Incursion came out and then they moved to zone 25. I think it's about time to increase the zone, right? At least zone 50. And you're thinking to yourself, that's a lot of time. Not if you're using Angela in Incursion, especially with five rare hacks, you know, I mean, there, keep in mind there's a 7-star Angela in the game. But let's not even talk about 7-star Angela. Let's talk about 6-star Angela, rank 5 Ascended with Damage Mastery. That would take Angela less than 3 hours to do Zone 50 in the highest level of Sector, okay? I've taken down over 4 million health White Magneto boss in 9 seconds with a 5-star Angela. Think about that. Imagine a 6-star rank 5 Ascended Angela would do with damage mastery okay so you know that's literally like was that arguably less than a completion of necropolis you know and and the rewards is only going to be once a month right so it's not that bad when you think about it getting to zone 50 once a month and i know like a lot of champions in the game like both side two uh morbius that can do a lot of damage obviously hella and Aegon 999 i would like to see higher health pools because What's the point of having them, like, especially Bullseye as well? Obviously, Angela, that's a no-brainer. Having so much damage with so little help pull in the game. It's like, it's not even, like, challenging for, for like, Angela. Or, you know, I would like to increase the help pull. Uh, and uh, attack, of course, that's going to be in increased in attack too. Because if you increase the help pull, you're going to increase the attack. That's just the way Incursion is. And that's going to be able to compensate for that rex extra rare hack. And uh, uh, it would also be nice having that two extra common hacks. But if, if I can just settle for one rare hack instead, I'll be happy with that. But like I said, when it comes to Saga Sector, you're getting an extra rare hack as well as two common hacks. If they can keep that in the game for the future of Incursion, it would be such a game changer. It would attract more people to do Incursion because, you know... Currently, right now, you know, not many people do incursion up to zone 25 because there's just not many champions that are available to be able to use with only four rare hacks. So, 
I think it's going to be a game changer. And like to compensate, you know, you're probably arguing that Kabam would not make as much money because, because of that. I think they would be fine. Thank you.